my sister and her two kids came to stay. They were here Thursday night, Friday, Saturday, a lot of the day on Sunday. And we did a lot of stuff. And we go to, I don't know if this is a big chain. I had never been before, but we go to this Italian restaurant called Buca de Peppo. <laughs> is that a chain? I've heard yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a chain. Yeah. I would never been before. And so not big and going out right now anyway, but the kids were there. My sister was there. So it's like, okay, let's, we're going to go to a restaurant. So we go to Buca de Peppo and I say, Hey, like uh, if we get like spaghetti and pizza, like, will this be enough for all five of us? And the waitress goes, yeah, that'd be enough for you guys. I was like, okay, okay, okay. So I ordered a spaghetti, ordered a pizza, ordered a little appetizer. Thought the kids think I was cool. Cause we never got appetizers as kids. I was like, let's get some, uh, some calamari. <laughs> Amy, just a spaghetti alone would have fed all five of us twice. It was that big. <laughs> they bring this food out. Oh, I forgot to mention ravioli too. Oh my goodness. She, when she was like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's probably do okay. I was like, well, I want to be safe and we can take the rest home. They brought out this thing of spaghetti. It could have fed eight people fully. They brought out this pizza that was like, if you go to like Chuck E. Cheese, it's like the extra super large. <laughs> They had to put two cans of tomato sauce on the table just to hold the pizza plate. The ravioli, there were like 25 of them, and they were massive. And the, So we ate about a fifth of the food. The waitress got us. Yeah, got you she good. knew that even one of those was going to fill us all up, but she wanted us to keep buying food because the higher our bill was, the more tip you get. Well, it seems as though their portion sizes are just really, really big. But you can tell us right. when I'm like, hey, we'll take one of these, one of these, one of these. You'll be like, whoa, sir. Just so yeah. you know. And sometimes they'll do that. They This girl did not. No, she didn't. Well, maybe she thought you had an appetite. That you couldn't have eaten at all. <laughs> you, this whole show and that group of five couldn't have eaten all that was there. <laughs> because it was that big. The food was great, by the way. You got got. Had a pretty decent experience otherwise, but just got got. So we did that. So you got a lot of food left over? What are you saying? Um, we did. Over the next <laughs> two days, gone. we either ate it or after a day three of like yeah. ravioli and made it a restaurant. I think we ended up getting rid of some of it. But yeah, it was not 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 the best by her. She should have told us. Uh, we also my niece has never been to Target, so we took her to Target. Took her on a like a supermarket sweep shopping spree. She's nice. eleven. She was like, "Wow," and I was like, "Yeah, you're right." And then obviously I had to buy a couple things too. <laughs> of course. <laughs> It's hard to go on Target and just not buy something. Oh, for sure. It's impossible. And then we watched um, Inside Out, which I'd never seen before. Oh, I bet you loved it. With the Disney movie. It was okay. Oh, really? Just okay? Yeah. You sound like the waitress right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it was good. It was good. But I had, had really high hopes because all of you guys were like, you're going to love Inside Out more than any other Disney movie. And so Inside Out's, if you're not familiar, it's all the little emotions or characters. And there's joy, and she pushes the button when inside their head. When the girl feel, feels joy, there's. I thought it was fun. It's about the 